the Gamfag First Edition that exists. There's the main body that has the concepts and the framework, and then there's a lot of technical, more technical and detailed appendices. And one thing that struck us when we looked at, because we, in GAMP, we review the, the document set continuously. You know, we look at GPGs, are they still current? Are they still up to date? Does anything need to be retired? Does anything need to be updated? Do we need to write new ones? So, which, which led to the, the um, writing of the Enabling Innovation Guide, for instance. Uh, so, and we've been we've been looking at the GAP five guide regularly over many years, and it, it was obvious that the main concepts, the key concepts, you know, like the need for process and product understanding, the need for quality system, the need for a defined life cycle, um, leveraging supplier involvement, quality risk management. They're all absolutely correct and up to date and relevant. Uh, however, we saw that technology had moved on, processes had moved on, and there were some new topics that weren't really covered in, in the GAMP 5 first edition. And we saw that some other more technical topics needed to be updated uh, both in the management area, in the development area, and also in the operational area. So we took we took an opportunity to um, make a, a light touch update of the main body, which is the first eighty ish or so pages with with the key concepts to make sure that some of the key messages came across. And I'll come back I'll come back to those. And we took the opportunity to look at all the appendices and where they needed significant updating. We do that or when there were topic, new topics that needed to be added, we would add these new appendices. So an awful lot of the work was actually in the, in the appendices, which is not surprising because if you look at Camp 5 first edition, it's that much main body and the, the rest of it is, is appendices. So a lot of the meat is in the appendices anyway. Uh, but we wanted to, throughout the document, make some things even clearer and to underline some important points. First of all, that the specification and verification approach and the life cycle approach is not inherently linear. It's not, doesn't have to be waterfall. It doesn't have to be a, a, a V diagram. It's, it's software development these days is not linear. It's, it's typically iterative, uh, incremental, and even exploratory, agile, right, as, a, as, a, as a summary. So we said that in the first edition, but it, it became clear that we needed to say it more, more clearly, more strongly, and support that with some diagrams that showed that, uh, that these processes are not necessarily linear. They can, be, they can be incremental and iterative, and should be in many cases. Not in all cases, it's quite okay. If you know exactly what your requirements and you just need to go out there and buy something, install it and use it, then do it. You know, it's just a straightforward linear process. But uh, for, for big configuration, our, our custom development, then it's likely to be iterative and incremental. So that's one message. Um, the other message won't surprise you the move away from traditional documents towards records and information held in appropriate tools and systems. Uh, and that's an, another, another key message. And further underlining, well, actually, uh, even though critical thinking was always kind of enshrined in it because it was full of, you need to make a judgment on this based on complexity, novelty, risk, etc. So Camp 5 first edition was full of that principle, but now it, it's kind of crystallized around this, this uh, term of critical thinking. So throughout the document, we've taken the opportunity to say, and critical thinking needs to be applied here to make these types of decisions and here to make these types of decisions. And we've taken the opportunity to bring in some of the thoughts and the principles from CSA 
and the case for quality as well there. And uh, as well as being some information about that in the main body, there's a whole new appendix about critical thinking, which goes basically from beginning to end, you know, how to apply critical thinking throughout the life cycle. So that, that's one part, which is a light touch of, of update of the main body, but underlying these, these key themes uh, and strengthening some and bringing in the new things, you know, like, like not new, but uh, things that, uh, that needed further discussion, like critical thinking. Then um, I'll, I'll leave some of the more exciting bits till the end. Then, uh, then there, there are appendices that needed to be updated. Uh, so some of the development appendices that talked about URSs and functional specifications and design specifications were not really geared up to somebody who's using an agile approach. It was a, it was it wasn't mandatory and it, it could be modified, but it didn't really reflect fully the way these things are done these days. So the whole area of requirement specification, functional specification, etc., that has been updated. So that, that's an example of an important update. Uh, there's a new appendix on infrastructure, modern approaches to infrastructure management. You know, not trying to manage infrastructure using paper, but but managing infrastructure using automation tools and AI, you know, which is and uh, and all the right things the way the way we should be doing it. So that's that's a new, it's a kind of an updated view of inf of infrastructure management. So that's at one area, the the appendix on electronic uh, production uh, records has been updated to reflect cloud technology and some other technology. Uh, updates like blockchain and also to clarify some aspects of electronic records and signatures and audit trails and audit trail review so that that's that's had a nice sort of upgrade to to reflect current technology the, the whole of the operation appendices have had a brush up and an update to reflect better today's more ITQMS ITIL based approach and to clarify some of the links, like for instance, between change management, problem management and incident management. It's it's just a, a, a nice a nice upgrade. And also there's some new important, completely new appendices. There's one on blockchain or distributed ledger systems in general. There's a new appendix on artificial intelligence and machine learning and applying that within GAMP. And there's a whole new appendix on the use of Agile, uh, which is basically using Agile within the GXP environment, which is not changing Agile for the, it is it using the proper, correct Agile approach and why that works in the Agile environment and in the GXP regulated environment. So we've got new, new topics like that. So uh, a kind of refinement and the strengthening some of the key themes, update in line with current technology and new things that needed to be covered.